Does your company have three lines of defense? Risk is inherent in every company and business endeavor. How you manage that risk is what determines your operational and financial success. The three lines model is one of a few standardized approaches to risk management involving, you guessed it, three lines of defense against risk. Defined by the Institute of Internal Auditors, or IIA, the model intends to provide structure around risk management and internal governance. To learn more about the importance of risk management, click the link above or in the description below. And remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. Let's get into the three lines of defense. The first line is management. Their primary responsibility is to control and take ownership of risks associated with daily activities. They manage risk at a high level, like ensuring products and services are delivered safely to customers. The second line includes risk management and compliance roles, like a risk manager, compliance officer, or information security officer. They're responsible for implementing and monitoring the company's risk management program, keeping tabs on any regulatory issues or unethical behavior. And the third line includes internal and external auditors who objectively ensure the first and second lines of defense are effective and also review and evaluate the risk management program. All three lines of defense report to and receive direction from the governing body, aka the top leadership or management team that makes decisions. In risk management, the governing body is responsible for establishing risk appetite, maintaining open communication about goals, and creating and managing an internal audit process. The three lines model helps organizations proactively manage and address risks with benefits such as improved communication that encourages sharing information, increased governance that minimizes legal and reputational risks, efficient resource allocation by distributing responsibility across all three lines of defense, and complete risk awareness by looking at risks from a holistic view. But it's not without its challenges, such as skills and knowledge gaps in the first line of defense needed for comprehensive risk management, too much focus on compliance rather than an organization's specific needs, change management needed to get buy-in from employees, unclear risk ownership, notably in the first line of defense, and lack of meaningful reporting to assess how effective the risk management efforts are. Do you know what kind of risk management approach your company uses? Who do you think should be responsible for risk management? Share your thoughts in the comments and remember to like and subscribe.